Population and demographic trends pose an enormous challenge for U.S. rail transportation infrastructure. With the growing demand to efficiently move goods and increase stresses on the system due to heavier train loads, maintaining these complex transportation systems has never been more important. How do you ensure that the infrastructure within these systems maintains its reliability? And how do you ensure durability of these systems in adverse situations? Answers to these critical questions have been provided by Majeski and Masters for over 100 years. Freight railroads have played a crucial role in America's development, particularly in the state of New Jersey. Its proximity to major ports in Philadelphia and New York and abundant natural resources made it an ideal place for railroad development. The industrial town of Paulsboro, New Jersey, situated along the banks of the Delaware River, is a key link in Conrail's busy Penns Grove Secondary Line, which serves southern New Jersey. The line crosses Mantua Creek with a historically significant A-frame swing bridge, a structure which was once common among other rail lines in the region. After years of use, movable operations ceased at the bridge due to an incident on the morning of November 30th, 2012. One of the biggest challenges uh, at the startup of the project was restoring rail traffic. Um, the, the bridge had a derailment and, uh, and, and local communities, uh, all, all the refineries down south, um, they were cut off from, uh, from product and they, they were cut off from exporting waste. Our commitment was to restore um, a movable bridge here for the mariners and for uh, the public here so that uh, you know, we had something long into the future. So the customer base that uh, exists further south on this line is very dependent on, on this railroad. And as much as we not want to have a movable move bridge here, it's very important for the mariners that do use it to have access to the Delaware River. The design solution for this project had to involve uh, a coordinated effort with the owner, maintaining rail operations, building the project, um, satisfying competing priorities with the, the community, the environment, um, and the engineering solution. The pressure was on. Conrail needed a reliable and durable replacement bridge constructed as quickly as possible to serve the needs of its customers and the community, all with very little interruption to live train traffic. For this complex and time-sensitive assignment, Conrail turned to their trusted movable bridge expert, Majeski and Masters. Working closely with Conrail and the contractor, Majeski and Masters engineers went to work finding answers that would satisfy all criteria, including sensitive environmental regulations. Early on, we evaluated numerous movable bridge types. We looked at a swing bridge, we looked at a rolling lift, and we looked at a vertical lift bridge. We ended up going with the vertical lift. We found that it could be constructed a little easier outside the footprint of the existing bridge uh, and have minimal impact to rail traffic. One solution we came up with to address the fast-paced nature of the design and construction was to model both the mechanical system and the structural system in 3D. This allowed the design to be checked very quickly where we could bring both the mechanical and structural designs together and check for interferences. On the structure side, they were able to model everything down to each bolt and each member. This allowed them to check for any issues that might come up during fabrication. Since they were able to find this during design, it allowed them to address any problems uh, much easier than you would be able to if you found them during fabrication, which at that point would be much larger cost and much longer lead time to, to fix a problem. You know, we have a lot of customers that rely on this line here and having long and lengthy outages where um, our customers couldn't get their product was probably the primary concern. So uh, one of the chief concerns was as I said before, is to try to build a bridge that would minimize the impact to uh, the rail service here along the line. To accommodate construction of the new bridge under live traffic operations and to address all regulatory requirements, pile foundations for the new bridge would need to be quickly installed outside of the existing bridge footprint. Approach tracks would be raised to both keep the bridge and mechanical and electrical components out of the water and to better accommodate marine traffic. 
Once raised, the timber ties and track will be replaced on the approach spans. Construction of the new lift span would commence on a barge adjacent to the bridge. During a brief 72-hour track outage and using accelerated construction techniques, the old swing span will be picked out and the new lift span will be floated in. The remainder of the movable bridge structure will then be assembled around existing train schedules. Cooperation with tides and weather conditions will be essential to successfully complete the project. A lot of state-of-the-art uh, type of engineering. This bridge will be in the up position and the new system will allow the dispatcher to load a bridge and we'll be able to lift it back up right after the train goes across. And what that does is also relieves the crossings that are north and south of us. On February 13th, 2015, after a few short months of critical design planning, Majeski and Master's solution was enacted. The old span was cut out and removed. Preparation of the approach spans and track work commenced simultaneously. At 5 p.m. on February 14th, the new span was floated up Mantua Creek and connected after adhering to a rigid timetable which accounted for the local tide schedule. One of the most challenging and stressful phases of construction was flawlessly executed thanks to successful collaboration between Conrail, Majeski and Masters, and the contractor, Cornell and Company. You know, we picked a pretty cold weekend to put it in, but uh, nonetheless, uh, we're going forward with it here, and this is really the start of the installation of the bridge. Once we had the new lift span in place, um, under traffic, we were able to bring in the towers, the tower girder, and the rest of the bridge, and make the connections to the counterweight, uh, get the bridge uh, operational. It was a... Uh, um, a very fast track design um, and it required uh, close coordination with the owner and the Majeski and Masters team. After completion of the remaining superstructure, the new fully operational bridge now safely accommodates both rail and marine traffic and gives peace of mind back to Conrail's customers and the community. But it wouldn't have happened if not for trusted relationships between many organizations. Conrail, Cornell and Company, the U.S. Coast Guard, the Borough of Paulsboro, and Majeski and Masters. This relationship we have with them has been built on trust. Uh, they trust us with their movable bridge needs. Um, they, they trust that we're always going to be uh, straightforward, forthright, honest, and, and, and that's what we do. We have a real good relationships with them. We held meetings every other week. Advanced procurement went out way ahead of time for long lead items. It's been a pretty good trip. I've done a few movable bridge projects and uh, everyone has been unique, but everyone has been similar in that they're a, uh, they're a series of small miracles. So I guess if I had to take something away from the job, uh, I'm, I'm again surprised by uh, how these small miracles come together. You know, we're real, real happy with our uh, relationship with them and on this. I mean, certainly you have an experienced um, crew that work on movable bridges, and it's uh, and somewhat uh, kind of unique, uh, unique to uh, even uh, the railroad to have uh, you know that type of talent in house. So you know, we really need to have a, a good partnership with with companies like M&M that can work with us, understand our needs, and work together to have a product that's gonna satisfy uh, you know, our short-term and long-term requirements. The experience has been really good, and uh, you know, we, we uh, look forward to working with M&M on other projects.